bar fight in Sydney's King's Cross. It followed an all-day drinking session with his Parramatta teammates and the captain of St George Illawarra. On the field, he's tough, but today Jared Hayne was subdued, preparing to tell King's Cross police how a gunman opened fire on him. Jared, how are you feeling? No comment. The no comment. Pretty scary night for you, Jared, no I'd comment. imagine. It was 4:20 a.m. The shooter fired a single shot at Hayne in Ward Avenue, then jumped in a car and sped off. Luckily, the bullet missed its target. Hayne was walking with Eels teammates Junior Paulo and Willa Haraki. They'd been drinking at the Vegas Lab. But as they left, got into a fight which spilled onto Darlinghurst Road. In addition to uh, to any other witnesses, police are very keen to speak to a taxi driver who was in the vicinity of the of Ward Avenue or the Vegas Hotel. Hayne had spent the day at the cricket and drinking with Eels teammates celebrating their weekend win. Dragons captain Mark Gasnier was with them, but claims he left King's Cross just minutes before the violence erupted. Eels players have never been banned from coming to King's Cross, and the team says they're. Victims, not aggressors in this case, but team officials are furious they stayed out so late. They shouldn't be intoxicated at all. Sure, have a couple of drinks at the dead at the cricket, but don't be intoxicated at King's Cross um, on, a, on a Monday morning at four o'clock. And it's not the first time Hayne has been in trouble. In 2006, he admitted biting a teenage girl on the arm in a Parramatta nightclub. He escaped with a $1,000 fine then. This time, he was fortunate to escape with his life. Daniel Sutton, 10 News.